The residents of Seifred's Gilbreeze subdivision in Jigo could have had water service years ago. The solution to this 10-year-old mess was in hand from the beginning. A performance bond was in place, as with all such developments, as required by law. The proceeds from that bond, money coming from the bondholder and not Guam taxpayers, could have been used by DPW to put in the water lines and other required infrastructure after Seifred failed to do so. That's what Assistant Attorney General Patrick Mason was referring to in his letter of September of last year, a letter which puzzled both CCU Chairman Simon Sanchez and DPW Director Larry Perez because Mason had written that the problem of installing water in sewer will fall on DPW. Mason had thought that the performance bond could be used, but he was wrong. He didn't realize when he wrote that last September that the performance bond had been given up years ago. Mason finally clarified that in a phone call to DPW Director Larry Perez, telling him that Gil Shinohara gave up the bond when he was briefly DPW Director in the waning days of the Guterres administration. Uh, this he worked for Governor Guterres at the time. That's correct. And Gil Shinohara authorized the release of that bond? Yes. And that left no funds available, or that left everything... In no, no contingency plan. So there could have been a solution to the situation up at Gil Breeze years ago if that performance bond had what, remained in effect. That's correct. Had it not been released, we would have exercised it and get another contractor to provide it and spend that money. That performance bond was money, real money, to do it. Shinohara was later convicted on charges related to an alleged conspiracy to commit bank fraud unrelated to his government service. However, Perez speculates that it's possible that Shinohara released the performance bond because a deal had already been signed in this February 2002 Memorandum of Understanding, committing Guam Waterworks employees to install the required water lines to the Gilbreeze subdivision, an MOU that the new leadership at GWA has called invalid, unenforceable, and illegal. And Gil Shinohara released that performance bond, right? right. And, and perhaps I'm, because the oh, MOU existed. That's correct. That's correct. And now the MOU is they, considered. They, their GWA is not going to honor that because it didn't have the requisite approvals. <laughs> And, as CCU Chairman Simon Sanchez has already told us, this MOU never could have gotten the required approvals. They violated the law from the get-go. No performance bond, avoided MOU. That has left the residents of the Gilbreeze subdivision high and dry. The bottom line, though, is those people up there don't have water still. And Th therein lies the, the dilemma. Kevin Kerrigan, PNC News. GWA.